Hey everyone, welcome back to InfoGamer and welcome to this brand new Photon series on how to take a completed single player or non-networked game and turn it into a networked multiplayer game. This series is documented in full on our website at www.infogamerhub.com. The principles taught in this series will be basic and general principles applied to a pre-built game. With some independent thinking, you should be able to take what I'll teach you and apply these principles into your own games. The project that we'll be transforming in this series will be our Pong project that we just recently created. I recommend that you follow along as we work through this series. To do this, you'll need to first create your own version of Pong by watching our series on how to create Pong in Unity, which I've linked to in the description below, or you can download our version of Pong for $1 off of our website store also linked to in the description below. This is if you're not already a member, in which case the Pong project is free. Now with that said, let's get started. All right, so here I have my Pong project opened inside of Unity, and the first thing that I'm going to do is play through my project so that you can get an idea of what we already have. So here I have a main menu scene with a title and a play button. When I click the play button, it loads us into the game scene, where we have our paddles and our ball. I can control the bottom paddle with A and D, and I can control the top paddle with J and L. Then when I press the space bar, the ball starts moving. It can bounce off the walls, and it can bounce off my paddles. And then it can also score points when it enters an end zone. So that's everything that we have so far in our Pong project. But now we want to convert this local Pong game into an online multiplayer game. And to do this, we're going to be using the Photon Pun2 plugin. To get this plugin, we want to open our Asset Store window. And you can do this by going up to Window and then selecting Asset Store. You then want to search for PUN2. And this should bring up two versions of the plugin. One is free and the other costs $95. If you don't see the free version, you can also filter your search by price and just drag the slider down to zero and then it should be the only asset that appears. So I'm going to click on this and then going to scroll down and click import. This will bring up the import window for this plugin and then going to click import. So from here now that we have the pun2 plugin installed in our project we need to connect our unity project to a photon project. To do this you'll need to go to the official photon website which is www.photonengine.com. I have a link to this website in the description below. You'll then either need to create an account if you don't already have one, or sign in to your existing account. Once you're signed in to the Photon Engine website, you'll be able to see your account dashboard. And as you can see, I have a number of projects already created, but you'll probably need to create a new one. So you'll want to click on the Create New App button. Here you can select the photon type. I just select photon PUN. You'll then need to give your application a name and description and you can put in a URL if you have one. You then need to click create which will create one of these photon projects. From here you need to select the app ID of your newly created project. Once copied we'll then go back to Unity and from here we need to open up the Photon Wizard Setup. To do this, we'll go up to the Window drop-down menu and select Photon Unity Networking, and then click on PUN Wizard. This will bring up a new window that looks like this. And from here, you'll want to click on Setup Project. You can then paste in your app ID and click Setup Project. You should then receive a message that says your app ID is now applied to this project. So your Unity project should now be connected to your Photon project, which means that we can start networking our game. And that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson one on how to convert your non-networked game into an online multiplayer. Hey, if you like this video, then make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. There's also these videos here that you might enjoy.